Hello Divination and welcome. We have a brand new mini series for you and this time it's about how to create stunning grid layouts using Divi's video module. The goal of this mini series is to give you some inspiration and some design ideas which you can use in your own projects. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive into the mini series. <music> Okay, so we are on part three of our mini series. Let me just show you briefly what our final result will look like. Okay, so let's dive in and let's build the page. So first of all, I'm just going to name my page. I'm just going to call it three. Use the Divi Builder. And let's go straight into the Visual Builder. So let's start off by adding some columns. So I'm going to click this plus button here. And the columns we're going to use is this one right here at the bottom. And then in our first column, we're going to add a video module. So I'm going to click this plus button to add the module. And I'm just going to briefly search for it. OK, so now that we have our module, let's add the URL to the video. So in the video settings, we need to uh, paste the URL to the video. So I've already copied it. So I'm just going to paste it. Let's upload an image for our overlay. So we're going to come over here to overlay, click on upload. So I, I already have my image in here. So I'm just going to click on it and click on upload an image. So if you don't have any images in your media library, all you need to do is to click on upload and then upload it from wherever you've saved it on your computer. Okay, so I'm going to click upload an image. So with that in place, let's go ahead and save. Next, what we need to do is to add a divider right below this video. So I'm going to click this plus button to add a module and I'm just going to search for it. Okay, so let's go into the design settings and in the sizing, let's add 20 pixels and then click save. So moving forward, we're going to be creating quite a lot of videos for this layout. So the easiest thing to do is to copy and paste these in the right columns. So I'm just going to use my shortcut command C on a Mac and PC is control C and then I'm just going to paste it. Now on pasting it's command V or control V on PC. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now we need to make sure the divider is also duplicated and it's also on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to expand settings and then I'm going to click on wireframe view. So we can see our divider is below it. Ideally it needs to be between the two videos. And then I'm also going to duplicate this and the divider. So I'm going to drag this over and also drag the video so it goes under. So to take a look at the preview of what we've done so far, you need to click on zoom out and click this desktop view. Okay, so that's the layout we have so far. Right, so before we move on to the next step, let's go ahead and add a background color to our section. So to do that, you need to come over here to this gear icon to access the settings, click on background like that, and then I'm going to save. Next, let's go into the design settings and add some padding. Right, so what we need to do here is to add padding zero to the top and padding zero to the bottom. So by doing that, we are reducing the space within this section. Let's save settings. Now it's time to go into the section settings. So I'm going to click this gear icon to access the settings. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start with the main background. So I'm going to click this gradient because we need to add a gradient. I'm going to click this plus button here, click on the first color, and I'm going to add my RGBA value because this is going to contain some transparency. I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to go to my second color and do the same. Just paste it like that. So here on the gradient direction, let's just drag this all the way to the right. And that's all we need to do for now. Let's move on now to column one background. So here we're going to press the plus button. And then I'm going to add my RGBA value. Again, this is going to contain some transparency. So I'm going to paste that. Let's move ahead to column two. I'm going to click this plus button. And I'm going to add my RGBA value, move on to column three, and then I'm also going to paste it here like that. Now it's time to go into the design settings. Ideally, we need to have this row full width. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on sizing, make this row full width. Yes. 
and then use gutter width. We're going to set that to yes too, and then we're going to make sure that this is set to one. Next, we need to make sure that equalize column height is set to yes, because right here you can see that things are not the same height. So I'm just going to activate it here. Now let's go to the spacing and adjust our padding. So for the top, we're going to add a zero and a zero to the bottom as well. We're going to do the same for the margins. So I'm going to add a zero and a zero to the bottom. Right, so for column one, column two, and column three, this is a bit different. We're gonna add 20 pixels all round for the padding. So go ahead and add 20 pixels on each, I mean the top, right, bottom, and left for column two and column three. Okay, so that's looking really cool. Let's go ahead now and save. So what we need to do next is to add another row. So I'm gonna click on this plus button here and choose these columns. Now to save myself a bit of time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and copy the style and then paste it here on the bottom. So now you can see we've saved ourselves a lot of time by adding these manually. So next I'm gonna copy this module, the video module and add it onto this area here. So I'm just gonna right click, copy module and I'm just gonna paste it here and then do the same over here to the right. For this middle part, we need to add a blurb module. So I'm going to click this plus button here and click this blurb. And then we need to give this the content. So I'm just going to paste my dummy text and I'm also going to add my title. So I'm going to paste my title over here. So I'm going to save this for now and then come back to it to make some changes. In the meantime, we need to go back in and adjust the background colors. So let's come over here and go into the section settings and adjust the background colors. So I'm gonna click on background. So first off, we need to delete what we set the first time. Okay, and then we're gonna come over here to column one background, click the gear icon to access the settings. And then I'm gonna paste my color in here like that. I'm gonna to go to column two background, click the gear icon, paste my color. And then I'm gonna come over here and do the final one. Okay, so that's looking good. Okay, so now that we have all this in place, I'm gonna go ahead now and save. So what we may want to do is to change the overlay images for this because this looks way too similar. So I'm just going to come over here one by one and change my images. So I'm going to come over here to module settings. I'm just going to show you once how to do it and then you can go ahead and do the rest. So I'm going to come over here to overlay, click upload, and then we're going to choose a different one. I'm going to choose this one for now. Okay, so that's how you change these overlay images. So go ahead and do these for the rest of the videos. Okay, so with that all changed, the next we need to come over here into the blurb settings. And first of all, let's go into the design and make sure that our text is set to light and the text orientation is set to center. So for our header font, we need to change this to PT Sans and the size needs to be 54. And then for the letter spacing, I'm just gonna add a one. It just makes it easy to read. Next, let's go to the body text. So first off, we need to make sure that this is 20 pixels and let's have this as PT Sans. Okay, so with that in place, let's go ahead and save. Next, it's time to add another row. So I'm gonna click this plus button here, but this time we're gonna choose four equal quarters. So I'm gonna click on that. So as we did before, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the styles and then paste them so that this gives us a head start. So I'm gonna click on copy style, come over here and paste it. Now it's time to add the background colors for the different columns. So I'm gonna click this gear icon to access my row settings, click on background. So I'm gonna start with background one. I'm gonna paste my color, come over here to background two, paste it there. And then we need to go to background three and do the same. And then I'm gonna add my final one. Next, let's go into the design tab and add some padding. So in column four, we just need to make sure that it's 20, 20, 20, just so that it matches the other ones like that. And then let's go ahead and save. So now finally, we need to add the videos into each of our columns. So all you need to do is to copy and paste them. So I'm gonna click on copy module and I'm gonna paste it like that. So go ahead and do the rest to these columns. Okay, so that's it, that's our design, but this is the dark version of the design. So what we need to do next is to create the lighter version of this layout. So let's go ahead and duplicate the whole section. So I'm gonna click this duplicate section, and then we're gonna come over here 
So to change the dark version into the light version, it's quite straightforward. All we have to do is to change our dark backgrounds into light. So first off, let's start with our section settings. So I'm going to come over here to this, to the settings, click on background, and then I'm going to add my light color. Okay. So I'm going to also add my color here. So already you can see that this is now taking shape. So I'm going to paste my RGBA value. So once we're done with that, let's go ahead and save. Now, what you need to do is to go to the second section and do the same. Next, we need to come over here to this blurb, click on the settings, and we need to change this text to dark because that allows us to easily read it. So I'm just going to change it over here. And now you can see that it's easy to read. I'm going to go ahead and save. And then finally, you need to come into the row settings here and change the background colors. Okay, so this is our final design. So we have both the dark and the light version. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.